We begin at four with breaking news on a blast that shook up a neighborhood on Detroit's east side. That house exploding on Haverhill between Outer Drive and Linville. Neighbors stunned to see the place reduced to a pile of rubble. We are live at the scene right now with 7 Actions reporter Kimberly Craig, who's been talking to neighbors and firefighters. And Kim, I understand that this may have been caused by a gas leak. That's correct, Alan. That's what investigators are working on right now. Take a look at the scene behind me here. Question now is, did someone sabotage or strip the house, causing the gas leak? And as you can see, there is nothing but rubble left of the house on Haverhill near Linville. Now take a look at this chopper video. The explosion caused major damage to the new two neighboring houses. Those people managed to get out safely, and firefighters say it's too soon to tell if anyone was inside the house that exploded. Some neighbors say that people People who lived here moved out two days ago. Another neighbor said those people were back today to retrieve their dogs. Then at 126, a short time after they reportedly left, the house blew up. I know how to explain it. It was like boom, and then the house just say shoo. Could have been anybody in the house, so we're not gonna make that determination until we get the heavy equipment right here and so we can search the premises as, as best that we can because it is a collapse. Walls came off the house. It was people living in there a couple of days ago, but they moved a couple of days ago, so it shouldn't have been nobody in the house. And a firefighter, we're told, did injure his knee. He's being checked out at a nearby hospital. We're told there are no other known injuries at this time, but firefighters say they will still have to search that house with heavy machinery to make sure no one was inside. That's the very latest here on Detroit's East Side. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Back to you, Alan. Unbelievable video there, Kim. You just pray that nobody was inside that home.